Well, I'm heading out on my weekly Sunday morning dumpster diving slash trash curbside pickup. And I'm going to try my dangest to remember to video some of this. Usually I see that stuff and videoing it is the furthest thing from my mind. But I'm going to try to remember to video some of this stuff. I'll Hopefully I'll find a little bit. I Uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping I can find more keep life, more resellable stuff than the scrap since scrap prices are down so much and it's extremely difficult for me to get that stuff hauled. Uh, but, you know, I watch some of these other scrappers' videos. Uh, one that comes to mind is that uh, what's his name? Scrap Kingdom, or I believe that's what it is. My short time, mem short term memory is shot. But he seemed like he finds a lot of stuff. Of course, this last video he did, it, it, uh, the streets was looking pretty bare, bare, and I commented about it, and he said, yeah, it kind of scares him to see see that. He thinks there's it's a lot more scrappers out there now than than what he say, sees. You know, used to, you'd see a scrapper, you'd know it by their truck stuff, and he said, now you got people going around in cars and, and, and uh, I don't think I'm even recording. Yeah. Well, this is my first stop. And I don't see nothing. Well, yes, I do. I always get these daggone maps when I see them. grab the cans. I don't typically go after them. But you know what? That's a decent recliner and it's a lazy boy. I just don't have a way to haul that stuff. It's not tore up, I don't see any. It's not ragged out. Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice recliner. I've always said if I had the time and the transportation, 
I could uh, I could furnish a house. You know, it wouldn't be all new great stuff, but I could furnish a house with household items and furnish them in probably five or six weeks. We'll drive around here. Oh, heck, there's about six or seven dumpsters in here. I don't check them unless I see something, some telltale sign. I'm gonna check that box. It's sitting there for a reason. Well, hell, that ain't nothing. And, there ain't crap in there. Let me go around the other side just. Some of these places here, they'll leave crap sitting out, and I don't know why, but I better check it. I better check it. Tell you, it's very difficult looking at this stuff and trying to video it and all that stuff. But the why is people leave stuff like this sitting out? crap sitting out like that. Why don't they just throw it in the darn dumpster? Why do they... I guess that says something about the uh, caliber of people that live in these places. I hate to knock them, but a lot of them are real trashy. Real trash. Ain't nothing here. Okay. I'm on to the other one. Actually, I have three complexes I check in here. Two of them are low housing. I would love to get in that place over there, but that's a, a older person's place to live. And, uh, they got signs out, no scavenging. I if I can make this light up here. Probably not. Yeah, I am too. How about that? 
How about that? Oh, mate. Um, this other place up here I'm fixing to check, they, usually the stuff you find in there is a lot better quality stuff than that. A lot of the resellable stuff. I'm going to check that one on about way back in. That's a little bit of house. But this one here, uh, this place is not a subsidized apartment complex. And uh, they used to, the previous owners wouldn't let the scavenge, scavenge in here, but these new owners said, yeah, have at it. Just don't leave no mess. And they got a spot down here that they put out a bunch of stuff. And usually there's a lot of stuff in there, but they the city comes by once a month. And uh, cleans it up. So I don't know if it's We'll see here in a minute. I wish that seatbelt thing quit banging. Let's see. Oh, should it be cleaner than a darn wet? There's something there. I'm going to go down there and check it. Ma'am? The man that left the mattresses said that it has bed bugs. I can't hear you. I'm going to have to come over there. I'm sorry. The, the man that left the mattresses, he left them yesterday. He said they have bed bugs. Oh, I'm not getting them, man. I wouldn't touch, I wouldn't touch okay. somebody else, man. No, I, look, I just come by here because every once in a while, uh, like that chair. That's a neat little chair. Yeah, that's a neat chair. Heavy. That was awful nice of that lady telling me about that. But you know, back when I was 16 and 17, I worked for a mattress company. They made mattresses plus they would sterilize your old mattresses. And I don't know if anybody does that in there or not, but they had a big old oven, looked like a giant pizza oven. And they'd slide them mattresses in there and they would bake them things high temperature. That would be one way of killing them if you got bed bugs in your mattress. That would be one way of killing them bugs and bake them suckers. Hmm, that's an idea.
there's the table with the legs off. I took and screwed them off. So I'm taking it with me. See these dumps are sitting around with the blue lids and it says for recyclables. And I guess that means you're not supposed to take anything out of there. But I'm just going to look, see, anyway. I ain't taking... No, hell, if I see something I want, I'll be wanting to get it, but I ain't going to do it. Now this next place I go to, it's a low rent, subsidized apartment complex. And I've come to realize that in the poorer they don't throw nothing much away, I mean, unless it's tore all the pieces and just good for scrap. Uh, let me see. Used to stuff was piled in here, but they looks like they might have quit that. Let me go around. They got another area in here where when they evict somebody or somebody moves, they pile all that stuff up. And the city comes in here and uh, cleans that up once or twice a month. And usually right around the first or something is when most of that stuff gets piled up there. But you never know. We'll see here in just a second. There goes that dangling again. Let's see if we'll turn in there. There's something over, but it don't look like it's worth getting. No. There ain't nothing here. Well, there ain't nothing sitting here by the dumpster, but it's so close, I'm going to get out and take a look. Just in case. Because this is not going to get me much stuff this time. Nothing on this side of town much. I got a little bit of stuff, and I did manage to get some videos of it, so kudos to me. Um, but there's a couple other places that I'm going to check, cause, especially because it's on the way home. And I might as well look at it and see. Well, there's TV, but from the looks of that, somebody's already got in that sucker. I will. You know what? Why in the world would somebody open this thing up? Oh. 
set this camera down. Just a minute. I'm going to take that sucker apart. See, my problem is, I can't. You know, I don't have my damn hammer. Oh, uh, that's the second TV this week that I found that somebody else has already busted open. 
but they didn't get no goodies out of it. Which, okay with me. Whew. I'm out of breath. Man, I wish I had me a buddy. Right with me. Now I'm headed across town on my way home. See if there's anything over there. I have found stuff over there. Usually it's vacuum cleaners. Woo! I was just driving by. And here is a little duplex apartment. It looks like it's a trash out. I can't even see in the sun. Man. Oh yeah. I can get that. Oh yeah. Son of a bitch. You know who I need? I need Sean and Cassie. I will. I'll trash that monitor right here. computer in there somewhere. Get that monitor took apart and get the stuff out of that. Damn. I'll pull that chair out and I'm sitting on that. It'll be a little bit easier for me to scrap this thing. And that's what I'm going to do. That's not a darn monitor, that's a Magnavox TV. Uh, anyway, let me get started on that. I sure don't like being a half-ass scrapper. I had some other tools here, I'd get these, get this compressor out of this thing. Watch 
fish Paul. I'm being a core cutter. It's hot out there, and I didn't bring me nothing to drink. Good Lord, I got some Diet Cokes in the trunk. I could use that, but it's not cold. I'm gonna go in this apartment complex, but I have to be very careful. City policeman wrote me up one day. He didn't give me a citation, he gave me a warning. Saying no scavenging if anything in them dumps is the property of the city. Which is kinda asinine. It's going into plan field. This is another one of those low rent subsidized uh, apartment complexes. They usually got a roll up bin sitting around here, yeah, still sitting there. And that's what I was getting stuff out of. Yeah, I was pulling some TVs out of that thing. I'd already got two out, and I was working on the third one, and of course I had to leave that third one. Nothing in here, I thought, just since I was right close by it. They got spikes in the damn road. You back up. Wow. They, uh, this place, uh, occasionally they have shootings in here. And there's been a couple of murders in here. And well known for drug stuff. 